Hello, it's British Legion, and welcome to a video with some epic in it, and also a bit of sci-fi and a bit of fantasy, would you believe, at the end, going off a complete different tangent towards the end of the video, so um, that's at the end. Um, but what I have been doing, I've been doing, as the title says, the epic, uh, I've been testing out the um, French heavy cavalry, so I've done a full sprue of Dragoons and a full sprue of Carabur... Car carabiners, carabiners. I don't know. The heavy chaps with armor on, carrying rifles. Um, yeah, then. So, um, and I've got a special person in the shop today. So I'll, I'll show you that towards the end of the video. And uh, yeah, um, and see what you think of what else I've been doing. So anyway, first of all, I'm going to hit the deck and show you the um, heavy French cavalry. Right here, you can see my French uh, dragoons and. Um, the usual um, cavalry brown, just blocking in the colour and then uh, painting on the harnesses and painting the mane and then uh, starting off with the green jacket and then putting all the top colours on, then the whites, uh, metallic hat with the leopard skin strip and then, um, let's focus a bit more, and uh, then a black wash and then some highlights, basically all the same colours again, just highlighting. Uh, getting the muscle tones in and uh, the jacket tunic come up a bit greener so yeah um, I had a comment from uh, Logan Blackwood and he wants to know uh, well, I, could I do a painting tutorial on my French hussars well I've run out of hussars at the moment so if I order a sprue maybe I'll go through a couple of steps on uh, painting them up at some point um, but it, it really is just sort of just blocking in the colours um, and going from there so I've done a whole strip of them which I'll base up at some point. And these are the French carab carabins, <laughs> carabiners, I don't know. So yeah, they come out all right with the golden breastplate. Focusing very well today. So I've done a whole batch of them. That's the uh, officer, I believe. Same process, blocking in the colour, giving it a wash, and then going back in with highlights. So yeah, really pleased how they come out. Right, let's see who's in the shop. Right, my daughter Lizzie came in to the shop today. She wanted to do a bit of painting, some bit of school work as well. So uh, she bought, where's the box, Liz? It's this one. This one. She went up to London a few weeks ago with my dad. And they went into Gaines Workshop because I think she's going to be a good painter. Uh, or after, she's going to take this home, I think, and I'll get her some paint so she can start painting it whenever she feels like it. But they got she got this, which is basically a, a base coated um, that. That's what that is. I'm not going to pronounce it. And it, what well, she she did that, which is pretty good. It's got some mud effects on it, but the shield. Wet, she did a bit of wet blending on the shield, which um, I can't do. So I was pretty chuffed with that. You 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 like that as well, didn't you? You're quite happy with that. Yeah. So she's got some other things to paint. Uh, what else? She's got some bits down here she wants to paint, and a fairy. So yeah. So yeah. Just like that. That's pretty good. I want to paint like that. Never mind. Right, and lastly. I've, I, I've got two of these in my possession uh, that were left to me by a dear friend and um, I thought after seeing Dredd's sort of uh, brilliant painting on the, what he's doing and uh, I thought oh maybe I could do something but to save a bit some pennies I thought I'd paint some old space marines uh, I've got some space walls and maybe make a, a, a gang up like a kill team but in Nectar and Munda, and uh, see what I could do. I mean, they're old rules, but you know, if I ever get to play the game, that's a different matter. So I sat here well, as Lizzie was painting her figure today, and I was just experimenting. Uh, I've got an old Space Marine here. I sort of painted him in a light blue, then I put this technical paint over it, and that didn't really work. So I, I wanted something really bright and vibrant, uh, sort of. Uh, hive sort of i don't know so i went with a lighter base tone a base coat 
which I can't remember what the colour is. It is an old Citadel colour, could be even the old Space Wars colour. And you get that effect, which is hideous. <laughs> and then I put that on top. And this is the finished one. I'm still not sure. I used the gloss wash, and uh, but it, it's come out not too bad. Yeah, the red's a bit gary, but this is just a test model. It's work in progress. I might have to sort the red out. But the actual armour itself, with that base coat and then the uh, technical paint, and then a highlight, and then a black wash, the gloss wash, ain't too bad for something different anyway. I quite like it. I, I know what people say about putting gloss on miniatures. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this video has sort of gone off in a massive tangent uh, that people were settling to watch an epic video. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.